as a follow-up to the previous tutorial on RGB curves, it's worth noting that the RGB curves, particularly when you go to the individual colour channels, can have quite a colourising effect on the footage. Now we noted that when I pulled the blue across, that I added some certainly some cyan into the highlights, but I actually cooled the whole shot down, because now blue has been pulled up, if you like, and the further I pull that across, you'll see the bluer that the shot's going to be. Now, if I pull that back, and I just pull in the middle point and pull it up, you can see that we're having a similar sort of effect, making it a very blue shot. So I'm colorizing it, but if I pull it in the opposite direction, you'll see that I'm adding in some sort of yellows, because effectively these curves can be used to colorize, and this is how you can understand it. I've got the fast color corrector applied to this shot, and you'll see that if I have got red, which is just here, and I take out red, I go in the exact opposite direction on my color wheel, and I would add in cyan. Now we're at blue, and if you look at blue, if we pull that curve up, we add blue in. But if we pull it down and go in the opposite direction, we're pulling in this orangey yellow. And again, green over here, if we pull it up, we're going to add in green. But if we pull it in the opposite direction, pull it down, we're going to be adding in magenta. So let's just have a look at that. Here's green. If we pull green up from the middle, we're going to be adding green to pretty much the whole of the shot. If we pull it down, we're going to be adding in magenta. So you can see you can colorize the shot, and you'll see that you don't actually have to do much before you're adding quite a lot of change to the actual shot itself. To get rid of these points, by the way, just pull them off. And again, red, we can add red in, or we can take red out. But as we take red out, we start to go towards, as you can see here, the cyans. We cool the shot down. So just by pulling this center point up a bit, we can warm a shot up pulling it down a bit we can cool the shot down it's that simple but as you can see these controls do take some getting used to now it is possible to add multiple points to a line so say that I just want the highlighted pixels the upper pixels really to be pushed more towards the cyan with these other pixels unaffected what I can do is perhaps add a couple of points on the line saying don't really affect these pixels so say to about there you can add points just to hold it in place oops I accidentally moved one there Control Z and just click it actually on the line. So if I now take this down, you can see if I pull it down, I'm going to be taking red out of the shot. If you actually look at red, I'm removing red, which by definition is adding cyan to the highlights area. This part of the line is pretty much untouched. Of course, the curve does go through the point, and they do tend to smooth out. So this is pushing these ones slightly further up. So you do need to be careful, because as you pull things down, it tends to affect the points from the other direction. So just be a little bit careful of that. That's why I've added multiple points in here. If I was to pull this point off and start to pull this one down, you can see these pixels are beginning to push all the rest of it towards red. So I'm going to Control Z a couple of times, add that point back in. And you can see that as I pull that down, I'm not really affecting the reds and bringing more reds in. So the RGB curves can also be used to colorize your shot, to go in and make sure that you're just affecting the bits that you want to affect, but do notice again that by moving just the highlight pixels, you think it's just the highlight pixels, but if you actually look at the RGB curve as I take that back, this blue back, you can see all the pixels were affected as I moved across, apart from perhaps the very dark ones, because the whole line has shifted from going from corner to corner to going across, so we actually pulled the whole of the blue part of the RG parade up to try and balance that shot a little better. So do bear in mind that playing with these points can make quite a big difference to your overall shot, but the RGB curves can be used both to correct and to colorize, depending on whether you're working on the master or whether you're actually going in and working on the individual color channels to try and change how things look. So let's just do a quick before and after, before and after. Quite significant changes just by playing with these curves.